immediate question here. Question, question right now basically is how many of our guys and gals over in Iraq really say, let's get the hell out? Well, I never try to speak on behalf of all of the troops. You can't. But there's three things that I use to gauge that opinion that most people don't know about or are in denial about. And the first one is that Zogby International did a poll of boots on the ground in Iraq in February of 2002. And 72% of the troops said we should be out in a year or less. 29% said we should be out immediately. And that was over two freaking years ago. Today we have tens of thousands of troops who have gone AWOL, UA, or otherwise malingering and avoiding orders, some publicly resisting and saying that their orders are unconstitutional and illegal and they don't have a right to follow, or, uh, they're not obligated to follow them like Aaron Watata, Mathis Chiro, I mean there's Camila Mejia, there's so many of them. However, there's another one, and that is that the presidential candidate who has gotten more contributions than any other one, of course, is Ron Paul. Is Ron Paul. Amen to that. And when I was there in 2004, I deployed in, in February, and I was enthusiastic about our mission in terms of rebuilding, and I was in civil affairs, but we had the handover of power on June 28, 2004, and after that it was like, all right, so when are we going to leave, right? And by the time we left, everybody was like, screw this, screw the Iraqis, screw this place. There was no more belief or enthusiasm in the mission. And the guys that replaced me were just like, all right, how do we survive this and get home alive, you know? And the guys that are over there right now, by and large, they don't have that spirit like, yeah, we're fighting for freedom. You know, that shit's all out the window. Now it's just like, all right, let's make it through this. Let's not get in trouble. Let's not get killed. Let's get home in one piece. And, uh, you know, hopefully this thing will just be over soon. And hopefully what we can do with the Rock Veterans Against the War by supporting war resistors is inspire more of them to resist and take it as part of their duty under their oath to support and defend the Constitution to refuse their illegal orders. The important things to remember about the occupation of Iraq and the invasion of Iraq is that they are all driven by inherently corrupt motives, a, a, a corrupt foreign policy, uh, driven by corporatism, and uh, these, just like the Vietnam War, it's engineered not to be won, but to be sustained.